All right, guys, and welcome back to Ask NK. Today is a different, different episode of Ask NK as I am joined today by an amazing, amazing clock designer. And I must have featured a couple of her works here on the channel, and she has come through for this channel a lot of times. And give it up for Zarif. And today I'm joined by her, and hi. Hi, guys. Uh, hi, guys. All right. So uh, today she wants to actually share with us a couple of tricks, I guess, and tips on how you can, you know, essentially make any of your character turn into a balloon and float. And you say you want to do that with um, Marvelous Designer? Yeah, so you can actually import whatever you want into Marvelous Designer and just turn it into a garment. It could be a model, it could be a human model, it could be, it could just be anything provided it is an OBJ file. Once you bring it into Marvelous, you can turn it into a garment. All right, guys, so she already said this earlier, and I said, you know what, you don't have to tell me alone, I'm going to put you to the test. And you're going to share with everybody on Ask NK. And she said, yes, she's willing to do that. And that's why we're here. So this model, you said we have to Z remesh it. And I think that is it. Let's actually, oh, not this one. So we have to Z remesh this one, right? Yep. So, and you say once we Z remesh this, we actually have to give it out as a, an OBJ, OBJ file. OBJ file, yes. All so right. you export it as an OBJ file. That right. Then the OBJ file is what you have to import into Marvelous Designer. All right. Earlier, I exported this, but let's just do it one more time. Uh, so I exported it as head, right? But I just this was just before I said you have to share it with everyone. So I let's do this one more time. All right, guys, this is real time. So, uh, so what else do we need to do? Open up Marvelous Designer. Yes, we open Marvelous Designer. So basically, this method is usually used by people who sculpt clothes in ZBrush or any other sculpting uh, software. Okay. So they import the clothes into this, this sculpted cloth into Marvelous Designer and they simulate it to get extra details on the clothing. So for you that sculpt your clothes in some sculpting software, you can actually import that uh, sculpted clothes into Marvelous Designer and re-simulate it to get more details on that clothes and maybe add more uh, details like the normals and stuff like that, you know. So, is it just sculpted clothes or any 3D uh, stuff? Any 3D stuff can come in. Any 3D stuff. But basically, I'm saying that people that usually use sculpt. this method, yeah, yeah, are people that sculpt in ZBrush. And when they can't get as much details as they want, maybe texture-wise or maybe, you know, they just bring it into Marvelous Designer, re-simulate the OBJ to become a garment, and then ah. add more uh, details to those uh, to the sculpt. So, just real quick, let me ask: Once you're importing, do you import like a default, or, or how do you import this thing here? Because I know if you import as OBJ, it just comes in as OBJ. How how would I? So you go to Import Add. Okay. Then There's... you find OBJ oh, to I garment. See. I see. Okay. So when you click that, select the OBJ file and import it. Uh huh. All right. So usually I just do auto scale because some. Do we use the add or we use open? Whichever one works. So right. the add is if you already have an existing garment and you just want to bring this in as as a follow up or maybe you want to have it into your your scene, mm -hmm. you can just add it into the scene. But if it is just let me say a file that you're opening for the first time, you can just open it. But if you already have a garment in your scene and you want to import something new with right. into that same uh, workspace so you use the ad to bring it in all right so we just need to use open there. open yes okay okay all right yeah there, there we go so this is our obj file i know and from here can you can see. check the yeah here mm. you can check the mesh and you can check just they're just some regular stuff okay so how do we simulate this? Uh, right into the big question. How do we simulate this? Tell me what and what I need to click. I'm I'm learning today. So share, share. Tell me. Okay, first let's take it back to let's take it back to the solid. Okay. Yeah, let's make it so we can see what we're simulating. All right. Then next we have to like make the gravity zero because usually the gravity that comes I with We need to be doing the clicking. Thank, thank you. you, right? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> So we have to go to yes yeah, simulation properties. Okay. Yeah. So go to gravity. Okay. So that's the default for every marvelous designer. So we have to turn it to zero so that our, our simulation because if you don't turn it to zero, when you simulate, this is going to fly up. 
So we want it to remain on the ground All after right. simulation. So okay. that's why we're changing it to zero. Okay. So after that, click on the, the file. Yes. Change the particle distance to 10. 10. Okay. This particle distance. Oh, particle distance. I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. To 10. Okay. Then the next thing we do is we solidify to maintain this form, to retain that form. So I yeah? need to click on this. Solidify. Yes. Strengthen it to 100. Okay, so I think it's just 99, it doesn't get but to 100. I, it's right. fine. Okay. Then go to pressure, make the pressure 11. Let's start with 11, then gradually we will change it, you know. If it doesn't work. If it doesn't, okay. if it doesn't inflate as much as we want, we can keep increasing. You know you're having like bit. a very good shot right now, so <laughs> hopefully it works and it doesn't crash, right? It has okay. to work. So go down, oh, scroll right. down. Okay. Uh, I usually love to highlight, like to click this remesh better, okay. yeah. So should just I turn it on. All right. So let's simulate. Okay, so fingers crossed, guys. Oh, uh oh, this is interesting. Give me a second. Hello. Oh, I see. So maybe the level eleven we have is a bit over because you can but see like that we're losing. I like the fact that it's bouncing because of the gravity. That was why we turned the gravity to zero. Huh. So if we left the gravity at minus nine eight zero zero, it will fly up and. You might just lose the whole thing but this keeps it to the ground okay yeah so uh, being that it's like this we're losing the details on the eyes yeah, so yeah. that means the inflation is quite more so we can go down to maybe 10 or 9 okay so maybe i can drop yeah this. exactly so you oh, can see this is so cool exactly you're getting back the details you had before okay this so is yeah so cool. that's how you do it any obj file can work and know? i was thinking like it was some sort of you know rocket science and stuff no it's just easier they can add your textures you can do whatever i, I, you I want. believe this is way better than actually doing it in um other dcc apps you know like maybe maya blender and all that i mean since marvelous is more of cloth stuff yeah so i, I yeah. think this is like the best place for you to actually do something like this yeah maybe this so could if, come if, in handy. if you're done how do you how do you move this you send it off to keyshot or where how do you render your stuff basically well for me i use mamoset to render sometimes because keyshot is a bit too over like it's just too stressful for me mm -hmm. so i use mamoset to to render my files because currently Marvelous Designer doesn't have a render engine, so you have to take it to a third-party engine to render. Okay. So I actually export my file to Mamoset and do every other thing there. Too. Okay. So but here you can add the texture, you can just play with it and see what you can do with it. And a good thing with the new Marvelous Designer, you can actually cut, like mm -hmm. you can actually do a lot of things right on top of the mesh yes so you don't necessarily need to be able you know to use uh like to do these things outside you can just do your mesh bring it in here yeah just and, and do everything simulate, you want yeah all right so uh there you go guys uh probably we're going to render this uh maybe put it on the gum road for anyone that wants to get it i don't know uh, and a huge shout out to Zarif for coming out here today. And guys, if you want to learn anything about Marvelous Designer, go over to her page. I'm going to put the link in the description, end note, and also on the card. So go over there, share some love, learn something new today. If you're very, very interested about making clothes designs, you know, you want to see some requested clothes, you can also go through to the Zarif page and subscribe turn on notifications so that once she drops in any video you would also be able to find these things out for yourself yeah and, and our yeah. beginner course will be dropping soon for those that want to learn marvelous designer from scratch so our beginner course will be dropping soon and after that like as a follow-up there's going to be advanced courses teaching how to design a lot of clothes specifically in details so and, and you told me before we started that you're thinking of creating a seamless pack for yeah well. yeah i'm actually working on seamless print textures like uh african pattern basically basically african patterns because i've had a lot of requests because most of the designs i make i use more of african patterns so so many people have requested these african patterns so i am actually working on creating these in 2k 4k like create varieties for mm. those that want it and once it's ready once you're subscribed and you've turned on the notification bell so you get the <laughs> notification all right so I, I guess that's gonna be it so guys i think you guys will have a lot of fun playing with this thing 
I'm actually having a lot of fun doing this myself. You can <laughs> see how squash. much yeah, I'm squashing and, you know, just blowing this thing out of proportion. It's quite satisfying. And I guess I would like to see lots more videos like this. A huge shout out to Zari for one more time. Guys, you know, you know what to do. Hit the like button if you like this video and turn on notification. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video which would upload. If you want to see more collaborations like this, also tell me about these things in the comment section and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update tips or tricks free friday tutorial tuesday things like this peace